and welcome back to the chronic corner i'm lauren and this episode is all about dysmotility a common comorbidity to many chronic illnesses including dysautonomia so we want to make a quick video just to go over a very brief overview and the basics of it so first of all what is dysmotility this is when the muscles of your digestive tract malfunction, meaning that there is a lack of coordination, um, minimum strength and speed, that your body is not getting the nutrition it needs and it's not working the way that it's supposed to. This can kind of be caused by two different categories of causes, um, being myopathy and neuropathy. And when it comes to symptoms, some people are actually asymptomatic and can have little to no symptoms at all. Whereas on the other side of the spectrum, you have people having severe GI symptoms like diarrhea and constipation, but at a very severe amount. It is very important to keep an eye on this because if you do think that you might have dysmotility, it is very common for those with this condition to experience malnutrition, which affects all your other chronic illnesses. It affects your ability to function, your body's ability to maintain itself. I mean, if you're not getting the nutrition you need, you're not being able you know, to retain fluid and stay hydrated, it's not gonna be good. So it's really, really important to keep an eye on that. If you do think you might have dysmotility to speak to a gastroenterologist, and more than likely when you talk to them, they're gonna to wanna to do a variety of tests as with any condition, such as blood tests, x-rays, x-ray studies, um, biopsies, just to name a few, but just to rule anything else out and to see if they do think that this is what you have. And for those that have dysmotility or think they might have it, we would love to hear from you in the comments below. And for more things dysautonomia, visit dinet.org. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.